You're right. OP1, it's uh, for us. It's like a, uh, it's like a vacation. You know, uh, you kind of get away from the flagpole, um, which means you get away from all the higher ups. You know, the main thing is every day. You know, you resupply anything that you want up here. You have to carry it by yourself. It's nice to be secluded. You know, it gives you time to think, watch movies that you haven't watched. It's kind of rejuvenating. If you were the enemy and you had this large thing overlooking, you know, in every direction, it's, you'd have to be a little bit, a little bit crazy to try and attack it, so they, they tend to not, to not try and do a direct attack on us here, they'll, they'll use indirect fires. Damn. That wasn't closer at all. Things like that, you were like, I'm not fucking British. There is nights, I can't say, where you'll see ticks going on, you know, firefights, and there's no American out there, and there's no A and A or any of our assets out there. So it's got to be, it's got to be them fighting amongst themselves, or just doing their Taliban duties, I guess, out there and doing whatever it is they do to the local nationals. Uh, the way it exploded looked like water. Yeah. Yeah, it was recoverable. <laughs> That's a pretty good drop, really. It felt uh, like you've been betrayed. You know, you enlisted to do one job, and you know the army needed you to do another. But at the end of the day, uh, I still I joined. You know, I enlisted to do what the army needed me to do. And there's been times where other guys that joined the army for this MOS, you know, they're sucking and they're or they're falling out or they're doing something. You know, and us guys that kind of adopted this MOS, we're excelling more than them. Kind of deathly afraid of like almost anything, uh, bugs, insects, bulls, horses, elephants. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. I just don't like them.